Hey guys, welcome back to Tommy Legends. Once again, thank you for stopping by. So this is part two of the um, Tommy Boomerang um, restoration. Um, from the end of part one, um, I obviously had made a mistake and I'd fit in the front gearbox without the steering servo. So I fixed that now. Um, so the steering's in place. Um, I've also fitted the wheels because I just wanted to see what the, the diffs were like and make sure the gearboxes because I'm a little bit unsure because they don't they don't sound the best at the best of times um, but they're okay so anyway it's 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 good to go again so I, the next stage now is for me to have a look at the shocks um, so we'll get these cleaned up and we'll get them drained and refilled we'll um, get the bumper on and then we'll start installing the electronics so let's get cracking. Right guys, that's the chassis finished now. Um, as you saw, the shocks are done and they feel really good, to be honest. Uh, I've cleaned them up best I can. Um, ideally, I need an ultrasonic, <laughs> ultrasonic cleaner, but I haven't got one over here. Um, might be something I need to invest in, because they are cheap. Um, I've also put the driver frame on with the driver in. Obviously, it's not painted yet. Um, the bumper's on. Um, so we've got the motor and the steering servo fitted. So the next stage for the car itself is to get the electronics in. But while I was doing this this morning, I, um, I put the tyres in some hot soapy water. Um, as I say, these are used, but they were, I had them running on the big wig. Um, they had a bit of dirt on them. So I'm just giving them a little scrub, nothing too much. Um, and I'm going to go over the writing again. Um, and just for anyone who's interested, I use a, a Sharpie and it's... Um, what tip is it? It's an extra fine sharper white paint pen. Give it a good shake. Once you've got writing on the tyres like this, it's really quick and easy just to go over the top. So it's not it's not nearly as difficult as doing a tyre from fresh. So we'll do that. I'll also go over and before I run it with silicon spray. Um, this is not the best stuff I've used, but it's all I could find over here. But it gives them that kind of shiny new look. Um, I'm not going to plaster them in it because obviously we're going to be doing a running video once it's complete. But just it's mainly just for when it's finished and I, I take some shots of it. Um, and finally, um, I was a bit lazy with the wheels. Um, we had three that were discolouring and we had one that was really brilliant white. So all I've done is I've just gone over and given them a quick blast in Tamiya TS Paint, um, pure white. I've not gone crazy, um, but what it has done, it's matched them all up now. Um, they are a little bit bright and they don't look nearly as good as how they should, but when it's complete, it's gonna look pretty cool. Um, so that is that. So the next stage, while these are, are drying, uh, I just wanna tell you something about the car, which I found out. So I called it an original boomerang, but it's not. Um, and I had no idea because I pulled the old electrics out of it, the old manual speed controller and old 540 silver can. Um, and because of the condition of it, I just assumed it was original. Um, but apparently it's a 2008 Riri. So it's still 10 years old. Um, it makes absolutely no difference to me. Um, and, and again, value wise with boomerangs, the 
they're not a rare car so it's not because you I don't really think you get extra dollar because it's original um, so I'm a little bit disappointed I suppose um, it's always nice to say this is an original but anyway it's a it's a re re um, so it must have had a pretty hard life in the short time it's been going because um, it's uh, it needed a fair bit of work um, so anyway I'll shut up and now we'll we'll install the electrics and uh, get her finished off Right guys, so that's the chassis all completed now. Um, turned out really well, all the wiring's done. Um, it's pretty neat. Um, the wheels have turned out quite nice as well. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Just give it a quick blast to show you. Steering's nice. I've, I've had it out for a little blast outside um, with the shell off just to make sure everything was working. It goes all right, considering it's only a sport tune. It's perfect for this car. Um, you don't want anything quicker. Um, I'm, out, I'm, up, I'm happy with the gearboxes now. Um, the diffs are fine. I, I think the motor could be just a tad tight, um, but it, it does free wheel. So anyway, we've we've done that. Um, suspension's great. A little bit hard on the front comes with that extra hard um, mono spring it'd be nice if I could soften that slightly just so it'd sit slightly lower I mean it's gonna sit like that and I prefer it to be there anyway doesn't matter does it um, so next stage is the shell and decals so let's get cracking <laughs> Right guys, so I've got the body shell and wing painted. Um, I need to take off the protective film and the window mask. But it's a really easy shell to do. Wing's a little bit tricky in places to cut out. So that's done. I also um, did the driver, um, give him silver seat belts, and I just did the black with marker pan, pen, flesh colour, and it's got a couple of Tamiya decal, decals either side of his helmet. And I saved some time while I was waiting for the paint to dry. I cut out all the decals. So I think what we'll do now is we'll get cracking on the shell. Well, that's it all finished. Um, looks stunning. The boomerang isn't one of my favourites. I know I normally say everything's my favourite, but the boomerang's not. Um, I think it's just because it's really common. But um, as with all Tamiya's, when you um, when you finish one with new bits and new body shell and decals and that, and it's got pristine paint on it, they do look great. Um, so she scrubbed up really well. Um, good news is she actually is an original boomerang which is awesome um, I was on my Facebook group last night and some kind member had posted all the changes from the original to the re re so I checked it there's, there's lots of differences um, I won't go through them but I've visited about four or five things I've checked means this is an original um, so I'm really chuffed with that and I'm chuffed that I've managed to restore it with genuine Tamiya parts as well 
albeit the shell and wing and decals are Riri, they're still Tamiya, which um, I like. Um, so that's it. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll shut up. So once again, thank you for watching. Um, if you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us, that would be much appreciated. And um, please stay tuned for video three where we get to run a, and I'm super excited about that. But more importantly, happy RCing.